What's up, E units? This is Cobalt Steel, and welcome back to Cobalt Plays. It's been a long time since we made an episode, but it's glad to be back. I'm glad to be back. What did you say? Whatever. In this episode, we're going to be playing this relatively recent game that came out for Windows uh, like two weeks ago. I think so. It's a parody of the 1985 classic on the Nintendo Entertainment System, Super Mario Brothers. Whoa. It's called Jelly Mario Brothers, and it seems to be a version of the game which has jelly-like physics and controls. Yeah, I'll, I'll say that. Controls. So, basically, you just go through the entire level, moving around as if everything, including yourself, is made of jelly. Um, this should be a very wacky but fun game. Let's see how it goes. Whoa. Crazy. Oh, shoot! Yikes, did I turn into a windstorm? That was stupid. Okay. So we're playing. Let's see what happens. Yikes. Um, yeah. So this is the game. Seems to... It's pretty cool. I'm liking it so far. Hold up. Let's see if anything's been implemented. No. I should say this is actually a pre-alpha version of the game. So... It seems like not... So it seems like not everything has been implemented, like the power-ups, the coins, or even collecting anything or getting points or anything like that. It just seems to be just the gameplay and a basic level structure. But then again, I can't really expect anything like that being implemented in a pre-alpha because it's just to give you the idea of the game. And so far, I like the idea of the game. It's pretty wacky. It's actually kind of hard to control because because kind of it's hard to stop and it's hard to really move because you're made of like jelly. And I just dis kind of disintegrated. A piece of me just fell off. This is great, dude. Now part of me is stuck in the ceiling. Do you see that? See a tiny piece of my shirt in the ceiling? It's crazy, dude. As I said, you can't recollect really anything. But I suppose that'll be implemented in a later version of this game. So anyway, let's actually look around. By the way, I actually forgot to mention that you can die in this game still. But there doesn't seem to be a... The live counter doesn't seem to be working. No! The live counter doesn't seem to be working properly, but again, this isn't a, uh, this isn't the final version, so that should be implemented later. Um, but though you can die, you just explode violently, which is crazy. But, um, yeah. Just explode into small pixels and stuff. So, um, <clears throat> seems like the enemies here haven't been put in. But that's okay. Um. Yikes. So, um, Yeah, so it seems like the game will just take. be taking all 32 levels of the original. of the NES game. and just put in these jelly like situations. I do want to say that while this is an interesting game concept or game parody, um, I do think that not all the levels will translate well with this gameplay style, if that's what the developer wants to be doing. Um, honestly, I think some levels need to be cut because, well, the this gameplay style will make progressing those levels a little too difficult to be really fun or anything. But we'll get to that. We'll get to why that... We'll get to the problem with 
that kind of with this Game Boy style and those levels that I'm talking about. So um, this is the second level. Yikes! Let's keep moving. <clears throat> okay. Whoa! Whoa! Shoot! I'm being knocked. Uh, what the? Seems that some of the brick blocks are actual bricks. Now that's cool. I want to see that. Let's have that in the game. In the final version. For all bricks. Or at least most bricks. Or maybe not. Don't do Don't do that. That'll make the game too easy. If that's the point. If the, if the point is to actually be a... Like, not only a parody game, but like a... Like a game, that's the point. Then I guess don't do that. Like a game while still being a parody. And I suppose don't make everything bricks. But yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Just forget that. Whoa, 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 whoa! No! Shoot, dude! Did you see that Mario? His whole body exploded, but his head was intact. Now, that's terrible, dude. I'd rather just have my whole body explode. Whoa. I just... Yikes. I have to say, I'm really liking the physics of this game. I think I already made that point, but... In case you didn't get it, I like the physics of this game. I love the uh, whole floaty... Blocks that can get pushed easily. I like the, uh... Kind of zero gravity effect with these bricks. I want that kept in the game. Yeah, that would be great. I want to have that zero gravity bricks. Keep that. Let's get moving. Cartwheel way! Whoa! Oh man. Nope, nope. Break those! Never mind. That's it? That's the end. Oh, okay. I guess that's it then. I guess that's the end of Jelly Mario Bros. for the moment. Um. Okay. So that was a good game. Um. Actually, I forgot to mention, but that crawl space, that crawl space that you saw in the uh, in that level. That's the point, then I guess don't do that. Like a game while still being a parody. In that second level, yes. Um, that's one of the reasons why I feel like th this gameplay style might not translate well with every level. Because, as you can see, it was kind of hard to get through those spaces. And, um... I feel that will make, and there's some levels that have tight corridors, especially the cast levels, and I feel like this may make gameplay a little bit too difficult. Also, if you remember, uh, Mario jumps like a starfish. Wait, what? Mario jumps a little awkwardly. Well, not awkwardly, but he kind of like swims in the air. And there's some levels that are like a lot of, like, like, jumping and I don't think this kind of jumping will translate very well in those levels but maybe maybe it will be changed so it can better accommodate those uh, the, those levels or maybe the levels will be altered to accommodate the game flow better but that's just what I think about think of the uh, whole thing uh, aside from a few levels that might not translate well i think the whole game in this style would be pretty cool to play and if that's the point then i will be looking forward to it if it's just like a few levels with this crazy physics then that's okay um I'm, i don't mind but um yeah so overall this is a good game with some crazy physics and it might run into a few levels that might not work well, but other than that, good game. Uh, so this has been Cobalt Steel, 
and I will see you all la later. Well, that is all for today, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I thank you all for watching, and until next time, I shall see you all later.